Hey there guys, this is Phone Tech Kid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to flash a ROM on your Galaxy S4. So guys, let's get started. Okay, so for this method to work, you do need to be rooted and you do need to have a custom recovery installed. So this will work on all the Samsung Galaxy S4s, including AT&T and Verizon. Yes, the bootloaders are finally unlocked, and I'll have a video down below that you could check out that shows you how to install a recovery on your AT&T and Verizon S4s also. So, the one app you want to install before you flash a ROM is called Goo Manager. So, if you install the recovery, that's the app you use to install the recovery, and this is also what you could use to enter recovery. So install any ROM that you want. Um, most ROMs you can find in XDA Premium. It's a paid app in the Play Store with also a free version. And we can go into forums. If you go to the very bottom, here we have T-Mobile, Sprint, AT&T, and the stock Samsung Galaxy S4. So for this presentation, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Slim ROM for your Galaxy S4. This works for all the Galaxy S4s, by the way. So I'll have the link down below to that ROM if you want to install it. There it is. So when you're installing an AOSP ROM, basically stock Android, you're going to install the ROM and the gaps. Most of these XDA threads will have the ROM and the gaps in them. So you just want to go to the first, very first page and you'll find all the information there. This is for the AT&T S4. If you have the other S4s, you go to the other threads in XDA. So once you've installed the ROM and the gaps, you're going to go into that Goo Manager app and use it to enter recovery. So, of course, you need to be rooted, and you're going to allow root permission. And if you've already installed the recovery, as I said, right here, you're going to click Reboot Recovery, and yes. So let it sit. It should take a minute to reboot into recovery. I'll let you watch it so you can see how it looks. So when you're flashing a TouchWiz ROM, you're only going to need to install the ROM. You don't need the gaps. So just letting you know, it's only for AOSP ROMs that you have to do it this way. Okay, so as you can see, I entered recovery now. And what I want to do first is always go to backup and swipe to back up your ROM, okay? So if anything goes wrong, you can go back into recovery and restore whatever you were on before. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna go to wipe, and this is gonna wipe data factory reset, wipe cache, and wipe download cache. We're gonna swipe to wipe right here. As you can see it's wiping. Shouldn't take too long, there you go. Now we're gonna go back and do it one more time just in case. Okay? Just to make sure everything is wiped. Now we're going to go home. And we're going to go into install. So go all the way back. Oops. Until you get over here. So most of the ROMs you probably install will be on your internal SD card if you install them straight to the phone. Let me zoom in a little so you can see better. There you go. So we're going to click on internal SD. Okay, there's nothing there. So sorry, keep going down until you get to SD card right here. We're going to open that up. Then we're going to go down to download. So here I have all the stuff that I could flash. Here I have the slim ROM and the slim gaps. Extras is just something I installed. You do not need that. So you always want to flash the ROM first. So we're going to click on slim right here. Make sure to read that it is the right file. And if you're flashing on AT&T Verizon, you always want to flash a ROM that says that it is supported. So no matter what carrier you're on, make sure that the ROM you're flashing is supported. Otherwise, you can break your device. So now we're going to swipe to confirm flash. And let it flash. It shouldn't take too long since it's an AOSP ROM. Set it down for now and let you guys watch.
and just give it some time as it is flashing a completely different basically OS on your phone. So there you go, so successful. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, click the back button right here and we're gonna install Slim Gaps. And make sure it's the right thing and you're gonna swipe to confirm flash. So Gaps is basically the Play Store and the basic stuff in Google Apps and you need that otherwise you won't be able to install any apps. So I'm gonna install the extras right now. As I said, you do not need the extras this is just for that specific ROM. So once you've done that, all you're going to do is click Reboot System. I'm going to set the phone down and you could let it boot up. And so it should be a different boot up screen now that it is running stock Android. Yep, so there you go, the Slim Bean boot up screen. Whenever you flash a ROM, it will take a little bit longer to boot up since you're flashing a new ROM and it did wipe cache. So let it sit for five minutes and I'll be back when it is done rebooting. Okay guys, so there you go. My phone rebooted and it works perfectly fine. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and also make sure to hit like as this does take time. So, yeah, guys. Thanks.